Hi, this is Dina with Pretty Productive. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today what I'm going to be doing is my first part of cash stuffing for the month of March. Today is Sunday, March 3rd, so I'm a little bit late, but um, I actually had a little bit of money left in my wallet from my spending category, which is very unusual. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with that and what I'm rolling over. So let's go ahead and get started. I am using my cash breakdown sheet as my guide. Um, I know it looks like a lot of chicken scratch <laughs> right now, um, but what my total take out of my account for 2,934, and that was for my cash envelopes for what I call my wallet, my bills, as well as my sinking fund. So that was everything that I needed to pull out for this month. And so let's get started. Um, so I start with groceries. I budget a total of $600 for the month. Now I had considered maybe lowering that because we weren't really using it. And then I went to the grocery store and that was $200. And then I realized that if I am really going to cook at home, I do need to keep it that 600. So I'm going to leave it at 600 again this month. And I did that in 10 fifties. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and four 20s, and four 5s. So a question that I get a lot often is how do you figure out your denominations? And I kind of break it into the amount for the month divided by the four weeks of the month. So about 125. No, 150, no. Oh Lord, let's see here. So if I have 600, I know I should be able to do this in my mind, divided by four is 150. So 150 a month is about what I am estimating for groceries. Now I may go under some weeks and over in others, depending on how much food we have in the house, things like that. But if I need to pull the money out for the week, I want it in the denominations that will make it easiest to do that. So that's kind of how I decide what I'm going to pull out. So let me just make sure it's right. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 520, 540, 560, 580, 85, 90, 95, 600. Okay. And then for eating out, it is 200. And I did that by 820s. 8, 10, 20, 8, and 410s. So it averages to $50 a week, which if you've watched my channel for any amount of time, I'm usually over that. But then I kind of recover towards the end of the month when I start cooking more and going out less. And then it pretty much balances out. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200. And then spending gets the same amount. And I actually broke it out in the same way. So 820s, 8, 20, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 410s. 1, 2, 3, 4. Should be 200, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 200, sorry. So I'm going to take 50 out because this will be my spending for the week. I'll just put that to the side. And this is my only category that I do not track. Household is a rollover from last month. For my mom, it's 50 and it's 510s. Two, three, four, five. And if you're new to my channel, my mom is in a memory care facility, so that's just money to buy her little treats. Any of her needs um, come out of the estate money. Uh, medicine, I rolled over. Miscellaneous gets 50, and I did that as two 20s and two fives. So 20, 40, 45, 50. 
This last month was really the first month that I've used miscellaneous at all. Um, I always either rolled it over or didn't fund it and then all of a sudden I'm having to use it for some little um, items, transactions that I didn't really have a envelope for. Entertainment is getting 100 and I did that as 520s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. So entertainment for me is anything I do with my kids or my sisters or friends or anything like that it comes out of entertainment. Anything for my husband and I either comes out of our um, eating out or our date night fund. Personal care, I rolled over and I did use part of this today because I did go have a pedicure and um, I did also loan my daughter some money out of here and then she Venmoed me. So I'll have to straighten that out in my first checkup. Gas is getting 300 and I did that as 450s, as 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 300. Okay, so 50, 150, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 300. <clears throat> Everything in back to bank is empty. Now I do have one thing that I wanna do. So I got a new switch, not new, I bought it from um, somebody on Instagram. And when I moved over my Animal Crossing game, for some reason it wasn't backed up, so I lost everything, so I'm starting over. And the reason why it wasn't backed up, I discovered when I tried to restore it, was I had never signed up for an online account and that's where the information would have been stored had I done that, but four years ago when I bought it, I didn't even know that was a thing. So I did join the Nintendo online, so all my information now is backed up and I can also look at things on my phone, things like that. And that was $22. So I'm gonna take that out of my spending for last week and that will go into my back to bank because I had to obviously pay for that online and so that went on my card. So now I still have 28 left over for the week and I'm gonna take that actually and put that into my savings challenge because I told myself anything that was left in my envelopes would go into my savings challenge. So, um, for March so far, I did put money in here on my last cash stuffing um, when I cleaned out my envelopes for the end of February. Um, I did start this one. I originally put 70 in and then when I got done with paying myself back and everything else, I still had a little bit of extra money left. So I went ahead and put it in here. So I'm starting March with 50. 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. And then I'm going to add, I'm not gonna add these three ones, I'll leave that in there for tips. Um, so now I have 125 in here. So I still need to add 70. And then this will be funded. No, that's not right. So it's, 220 minus 125, 95. So I still need to add 95 in here to fund March. I'm trying to motivate myself to save money and not spend everything that is in the envelope. So, okay, so that's everything for what I call my wallet envelopes. And now let's do the bill binder. And I did separate the money because I just wanted to make sure that I had the right denominations because it was a little bit of mess when I got to the bank. Um, she was having a little bit of trouble getting the 50s. So I was like, oh my gosh. Um, you know, my entire breakdown was reliant on there being 50s available and so she had to go find somebody and get the anyways so 
I, when I got home, I just wanted to make sure that it was right. So I did go ahead and separate the money out and I'm just gonna put it all back together really quickly. This is always when I find out if I did this correctly or not. And then I also have the money for my sinking funds. So put that back in here too really quick. So there was a time where every time I went to my credit union, they were out of 50s. And I just really couldn't understand it because you know, I would think 50s would be more common than 100s because it's really hard sometimes to use a $100 bill but um, they just said they didn't have them. So it was a little bit, I had to struggle and just put, take it all in 20s and it was a ton of 20s, but we worked it out, all good. Um, so beauty is empty, clothes and Costco are not getting funded. So DirecTV gets 120 and that is our streaming service. Elements gets 80. And that is for massages. I also have a gift card in there. Gym and fitness is 70. I don't know why I have trackers in here because I really don't need them in here. Internet is 120. And the question um, I know when I started this way in the beginning of the year was really like, why do you take it out just to put it back in, just take it back out and all this stuff. It was really just to teach myself the discipline of not overspending on my credit card and knowing that once I pull all of this money out of my account and I put it into the envelopes, anything that I spend on my card has to have a envelope that's going to pay for that. Because what was happening is I felt like I was kind of in my mind taking the money out for my bills i would add up how much it was and i would in my mind say okay well minus this amount because that's what i need for bills but i was struggling to clear the card because a lot of things went on the card that did not have an envelope so i was dipping into the cushion on my account constantly and it just was not a good system so to teach myself the discipline of not <laughs> spending more than I can pay on my card or dipping into my savings or my cushion, um, I thought I would try this and this has worked extremely well for me. So it's just mathematically, it doesn't make sense to take it out and put it back, but in my mind and to teach myself that discipline, it's worked very well. So I think with budgeting, you need to completely go by what works for you, um, your family, your situation, and not listen to a lot of the, you know, conversation in the budget community because there are people that would never use cash and there's people that would only use cash and there's people that would not use a credit card and people that will use a credit card. So, you know what, you got to make a budgeting work for you and it doesn't really matter what any other budgeting channel says works, you know, for them, you got to do what works for you. Okay, lawn care is 140. I give this to my husband because he pays the landscapers on Zell. I don't have Zell. Um, planning and journaling is actually, um, this one is kind of a sinking fund, but I'm gonna put 75 in because the Coffee Monster Co. is having her anniversary sale. I kind of have everything in my wish list right now. So I think 75 will cover everything. Um, now I know that the shipping, because there's washi tape um, as part of the sale, um, I may be a little bit higher than this, but I'm trying to stay within the 75. And then this will join the excess money I have in here, which is currently 28. So 50, 70, 90, 95, 100, 1, 2, 3. So as long as it's with tax and shipping within 103, I'm great. Um, if not, it's going to have to come out of um, my weekly spending. Planner and subscription. So this one is um, Faded Chronicle for 41. Simple paper at 35. 
I did not take the Coffee Monster Co. for $49 because I just paid that and I won't pay it again until April. So just with pulling out the money for the anniversary sale, I didn't really have the extra $49. And then I still pulled a uh, simple paper out, but she actually had a warehouse sale. So she did not do a collection. So um, I did not end up ordering for this month because everything she had in her warehouse sale is something I already had. So, so there's a little bit of extra money in here that can go towards the Coffee Monster Co. subscription in April. What is this money from? Okay, let's see here. This is the excess money. Okay, so 20, 40, 60, 81, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So 139 in here to cover those. Again. I did add in the Coffee Monster Co. 75 into this one because it's a sinking fund. This one is a monthly draw out. Registration for my car, which is due in September, is $70. And I just take the amount and divide it by how many months I have. And that's where I come up with 70 So currently for this, I have 50, 150, 170, 190, 210. I figure it's going to be around 550. I think last year it was 600, so I'm hoping it comes down a little bit. Um, this envelope is empty. Streaming is um, all of the different ones. So I have 20 for Hulu, 16 for Audible, and 11 for Max. So Netflix actually comes out of my checking account. So I do have bills that come, that are set up out of my checking account, like um, our medical insurance, Netflix for some reason. Um, I mean, we do have a lot. My electric bill, my gas bill, things like that. So I don't pull that money out just to put it back. I leave those there because I already set up that way. Um, so these are the three that get charged onto my credit card and that's the deciding factor if I'm going to pull cash or not. Do they go on my credit card or are they a direct pull from my checking account? Um, so there should be $47. 20, 30, 35, Starbucks is not getting funded. Car wash is 25. Water and trash is 85. So 50, 70, 85. So for some reason in Phoenix, you cannot set this out to be like an auto pay. Um, so I have to go in every month and put in my credit card. Um, if I could set up as an auto pay, I would just do it on my checking account, but because I can't, I just leave it on my credit card. It's just a little bit easier. Okay. So that's it for the bill binder and then my sinking funds. Um, I do have 50 in here for St. Patrick's day from last year. So I'm hoping this year I'll get to use it. Um, there's an Irish bar close to my house that my sister and brother-in-law and I all go to for um, St. Patrick's Day. Last year, my granddaughter was born a couple days before, so I didn't get to go. Um, but obviously, this year, she'll be a year, so I should be able to go, and it's a Sunday. So for Easter, I'm going to add 40. And this just offsets the food for the day because we all get together and do like a potluck. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100. So that was my goal for this. I'll just leave this there. Family barbecue's not getting funded. Halloween, Thanksgiving. So for Christmas is a transfer onto into my Capital One savings account. I have already marked this 
Um, there's now $900 in here for Christmas. I put $300 a month away. And then I also do keep the tracker in here too. Okay, so my birthday is going to get 50 So 150 165 I did take out money from this last month to pay for my walking pad. My husband's birthday gets 50 So he has... 100, 250 now. His birthday is in September. It's so got a little bit of time. My daughter's birthday gets 50. This also is her fiance. Um, so I am trying to build this up a little bit more because his birthday is in October. So they now have 100, 200, 300, 400. The cars is my daughter, son-in-law, and granddaughter. This one really got annihilated, so I'm gonna put 100 in. So 110, 120, 125, 26, 27, 28, 29. So the next one that needs to come out of this is my daughter's birthday in October. It is a big birthday, she's turning 30. So I'm just gonna keep building that back up again. Um, family is my sisters and my mom. My nieces and nephews are their kids. Liam and Milo. Liam gets 21. Um, and this just helps to save towards his food or um, to get his nails done. So 20, 30, 40, 51. And then the spider. So date night is getting 50. So now date night has, this is another one I used a lot last month, 20, 40, 60, 80, 92. So my husband and I try to do Thursdays as date night because that seems to be the easiest night for us to, you know, have some time. We go to a movie or something like that. And then I usually take dinner out of here. So obviously I'm going to have to put more money in here because $92 will not get us through a whole month, but I'll figure that out. Electricity, the balance of what I estimated at 200 versus what the bill comes in will go in there. HOA, I had to bring this one up. It now is 95. So 50, 70, 95. So now I have 50. And this is due in April. It's 280 in April. So 51, 20, 40, 60, 75. So what do I say, 175? 175. So I'll put another 95 in for April and then I'll pull this money and put it back in. And that's this is a direct draw for my checking account. Household doesn't get funded. Pest control gets this last 35. I do have service this month. It runs 95. So I put 35 a month away. And so once I have service, this is charged to my credit card. So once I have service, it's 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 105. So I'll have a few extra dollars in there. And that's a quarterly one. Um, Sutton, no, Target, no, and Vacation. Okay, and that is it. So. Sinking funds, these two are sinking fund binders. This is my bill binder, and this is what I call my wallet. So quite the uh, binder stack, I know. <laughs> um, but that is everything for this video. If you have any questions, please let me know. Let me know how you're doing um, on your March setup. I hope you are ready to go and you're ready to um, have a great month. I'm always so optimistic at the beginning of month. It's a new budget, it's my envelopes are full. <laughs> and then towards the end of the month, of course, you know, I go on a very low spin. I have been on a low spin this year so far for January and February, and I'm very happy with my progress. 
Um, I have not really gone over my budget in the last two months. So very positive for that. So thank you so much for watching. If you have not done so already, please consider subscribing and hit the alert for future videos. Take care and have a great week.